Hello and welcome back audience to finally, as you've all been waiting for, a FIFA 15 career mode with the one and only LFC. And guys, am I excited for this. Now before we get jumping into it and I explain all what's going to go on this episode, I have actually already done episode 1 and 2, but unfortunately many of my subscribers and followers will know that it was cancelled basically, YouTube didn't like it because it had music in the background that was copyrighted so as you can probably hear now there's no background music, I've turned it all off, it was actually Rudimental song which actually got me a copyright ban, I didn't want to use that video so I got rid of episode 1, got rid of episode 2 and we're back again guys, I've started a new career mode, I've just jumped into it now as you can see in the top left where I've took over at Liverpool, we're under new management thanks to Mr Brothers which is me and myself and we're going to go and get into it guys, now it's pretty much going to be the same as the Southampton career mode on FIFA 14 that you've all been watching. I just don't know how we're going to do games guys, I don't know if to do maybe sim a game, play a game each episode or play two games and just cut them up so you can see each bit or play one game an episode. But from, from now on guys, just until you give me a new idea, I'm just going to play one game per episode. Now, I'm not sure if this episode is going to have a game in it. I'm hoping it is because I know you guys love watching me play FIFA. I am playing on World Class again. But we're going to go over the office. We're going to have a quick read through there. I think pretty much the transfer window should be open. So we'll take a quick look at the squad, see where we'd like to maybe bulk up the team a bit more. Maybe add a bit of pace in somewhere. But we'll have to just wait and see, guys. So we're going to go ahead over to the office. Read the inbox. So we basically just had the first email is off the Liverpool board, just telling us the objectives, so what they'd like us to succeed in, and so on. We've also been introduced to Alex, who is our scout. So I'll just leave that there for you guys. If you just want to pause the video and read it, you're more than welcome to. I've played quite a lot of careers, probably since FIFA 11, maybe even 12, so I know what most of the stuff is. We've got the assistant manager, he's telling us to basically look for a defensive midfielder. See, when I go through these guys, I just read the subject, which is at the top there, which is scrolling through. And on the left, it's obviously underneath who sent us the email, so I just read them. We've obviously got important transfer market information. It's probably just telling us, there you go, the transfer market is open. Remember, the player value will vary based on their form. And a bit of information about the domestic cup. They'd, uh, the board would love a cup run, which I'm pretty sure, guys, that we can give them. So we're going to go ahead and delete all those messages now. Yeah, we can delete that. Delete that and delete that right so we've been told that we want to start looking for a defensive midfielder and i'm going to go ahead and look at the squad first because at the moment cdm is probably going to be played by either gerard or henderson i've just noticed as well balotelli's not even in the team that's shocking balotelli should definitely be in the team so before i get into it guys i'm going to choose the formation now i think personally we only need to play two up front if you play storage and balotelli i think that's the best combination now i love the 3 4 1 2, but I really want to play with four defenders. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to where there's four. Now, we could play a 4 4 2 with a diamond wide, and we could play Sterling as the composition, Gerard as CDM. The only problem is, is Alan and Henderson on the uh, the right and left mid, they haven't got that much pace. So, maybe we might want to look at putting a bit of pace on there. Maybe we could put Coutinho on the left. You see, we've got Coutinho up front at the moment, but that won't be. Uh, but there's plenty of different formations we can play, guys. But I really want to play maybe. I definitely want to play two up front and four defenders. That's just a major thing for me. So you could also play that. No, I can't. If you just want to leave in the description below, maybe a formation I can look at playing, and I might even have a look at doing that, guys. But for now, I think I might just play a 4-4-2 wide. Yeah, I'm going to play a 4-4-2 diamond wide. Now, if we look at the squad, straight away what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put Coutinho on the left. I'm going to drop Alan, because I obviously want to bring in my main man, Balotelli, and as you can all probably... Tell by me getting excited about Balotelli. He is my favourite player and I'm glad Liverpool bought him. I think he's an absolute beast. I know he hasn't scored yet, guys. Well, he has, but he hasn't scored in the Premier League. I'm pretty sure soon, guys, he's going to start banging them in. So don't worry, he's coming out with big goals. So I'm quite happy with the team there, guys. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick look at the reserves. I don't really understand that because Aga's not in the team anymore. So I don't really know why he's still in there. We're going to play this properly now, guys. Now, the bench isn't looking too bad. The only change, well, I'm going to have to play Johnson, aren't I? Because he's a higher rated than Mankio. But we'll have to wait and see. I want to bring on Lallana. We're going to drop, who are we going to drop? We're going to drop Allen. I'll drop Allen for Lallana. I like Lucas. Lucas isn't a bad, but see, Liverpool have got so many players to play in the midfield role. It's kind of difficult who to pick. Jordan Rossiter, he's been playing brilliant lately. He played the other day and he did score, so... 
Pretty good. You got Flanagan for left back as well. There's just so many. Pretty much, guys, I think we're going to stick with that as the substitutes because we, got, unfortunately, I wish he didn't have to have a goalkeeper. Don't get me wrong, I love Brad Jones, but I just wish he didn't have to. But we need him there just in case Mignolet gets injured. We got Markovic, Sacco, Mankio, Lambert, Adam Lallana, and Emery Cham. Now, that's a pretty good bench there, and we've got a pretty good starting 11 as well. So I'm not going to change anything, and I'm probably just going to put most of these on loan. So I'll put Lucas out on loan. Probably keep Aga just in case. Put Alan out on loan. Probably put Enrique, Barini, Suso. Yeah, pretty much most of them are going to go on loan, guys, because they're still young, and hopefully they can come back with a bit of a uh, bit of experience, and maybe they can get in the team. That's the team we're going to start with, guys. Now I notice CDM is a main role. We need someone at that CDM, pretty much at the point of the defence. So we are going to look at bringing a CDM in. I personally like Victor Wanyama, just because myself I'm in career mode, he's an absolute beast. All this Paul Pogba, I love Pogba, he's a hell of a player. So, what we're going to do is, is we're going to go to the transfer. How, min how long are we in here? See, we're already eight minutes in here, guys. I don't like this, I just haven't got enough time to explain everything. So at the moment, by the looks of it, the scout is already looking for people. Mainly youngsters, which isn't such a bad thing. I've heard a lot about him, guys. I've heard a lot. So basically, he's been loan listed by Ian Leverkusen and put him on loan. But I wonder if they'd sell him. I wonder if we approached. I mean, guys, I don't even know how much we've got. We've got 30 something, yeah, 34 million and 250,000 wages. So, can our scout do a bit more digging? Yeah, we can. So, we're going to ask him to go in there, get a bit more information. I think his name's Oz Tonali. I think that's how you pronounce his name. But if I'm wrong, guys, just put it in the comments below and try and. Do bit by bit of how to spell his name to kind of just sound it out for me. But I'm pretty sure Austin Ali. Dun, dun, dun. He's another good one. Robot. He plays for PSG. He's awesome. Patrick Bamford. He's another good one from Chelsea. Will Hugh. I tell you what, guys. I love the layout of how it all is now. It looks really good. There's plenty of good young uh, talent here, guys. Right. We'll leave that for now. We'll get a bit more information on Austin Ali. And we'll go and say it's real player. And we are going to search for Pogba. There he is, Paul Pogba, age 21. Search for him, there he is. If we click on him, right, he's valued at 11.5 million. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get our scouts to just do a bit more digging. See, he's on a massive wage. He never used to be on that, on the old FIFA 14. He was maybe on 40,000. Now he's on 110. So we'll do a bit more digging. Find out a bit more. Maybe he's valued higher, maybe he's valued lower, but we won't know till the scouts has come back. So we'll have a look at Pogba. I want you guys to tell me some players you'd like me to look at because I'm pretty much open for ideas. If you want me to bring in maybe a new striker, you want me to bring in a left mid, right mid, a new centre back, a new goalkeeper, you guys just let me know. But I'm just going to be interested in Pogba, one yammer. Here's Victor Wanyama, who's only 23, so he's still young talent as well. Do a bit of digging on him, get the scout to go and uh, get a bit more information on him. Finally, the last one is going to be Kurt Zuma. Kurt Zuma, now he was at St Etienne. He has now been bought by Chelsea. I don't know if Chelsea are going to sell him, but there's a good chance they will. We've obviously got him in the Southampton career mode and he's doing pretty well at the moment. So again, we'll just get the scout to have a little look into him and we can get a value and wage on him so guys we're already in 12 minutes and i'm pretty sure most of you are probably sitting there you're probably a little bit bored of me talking now i've pretty much done most of what i need to do i've been in the office read the emails done my transfers had a look at my squad the last thing to do guys is to have a look at the calendar and to see who we've got coming up so the first game is against hoffenheim now that's a friendly i think that's how you pronounce it hoffenheim and it's just a friendly and if you look we also play I think that's Borussia Modern Gladbach. I'm pretty sure it is. And so she did. But the first game, guys, in the Premier League is Southampton, then Man City, then Aston Villa, and then on the transfer deadline day is Spurs. So how I look at the table at the moment, guys, or how I look at the calendar, sorry, is we could do well to pick up three points at Southampton. We could even do well to pick up points at Man City. I'm pretty sure we're going to pick points up at Aston Villa and the same for Spurs. So out of those four games, I'm pretty sure we're going to get two or three wins out of that. 
and I'm hoping we can pick up the rest as draws, hopefully no losses, but we'll have to wait and see. The main one that concerns me, as you can probably all see, is going to be Man City, because they're full of pace, they're full of power, they're really strong and they've got really good strikers. So, for this episode guys, I'm going to give you a game. We are going to play our first friendly game. Then I want you to all comment down below and let me know, do you want me to simulate the next two games for the friendlies? Do you want me to play them? Or do you want me for episode two, just kind of jump into the game, play both games, end it, and then episode three will kick off the uh, Barclays Premier League. It's up to you guys, you just let me know in the comments down below which way you want me to do it. Also, if there's any players you want me to have a look at or get on loan, buy them, just let me know in the comments, guys. There's loads of these out there that give me loads of good ideas. Jelly, your one. Travis, Rico, there's plenty guys, I wish I could name them all now, but unfortunately I haven't got my phone here, and I'm, I'm in talks with lots of people, my main one's Rico, Travis, Jelly, there was someone else, and I'm just trying to think of their name, never mind guys, I'll tell you what, as soon as I get his name, I'll, uh, I'll let you know in the next episode, anyway guys, so I'm going to go to the central, we're going to go ahead and advance, and we are going to play our first friendly and you know guys I can't get over the, the layout of this it's pretty similar to FIFA 14 but I like how clear and how clean and how new it looks I haven't obviously I've only played one or two games in the career but I had to delete it but I'm just giving you guys an idea so everyone that hasn't got FIFA 15 can have a look at all the, the tiles and what box does what and where things are and so on so let's go ahead and advance Right guys, so straight away we've advanced in a bit of time, I think we might have done about a week. And Tom Wall's come back, he has now done his final report on Austin Alley. So if we click in now, it should give us a value. Wow, I'm really shocked there guys. He's an overall 62, and he's valued at only 220,000. I thought he was going to be at least 3 or 4 million. That's really shocked me. So guys, I know from the old FIFA, FIFA 14, that he has a pretty good potential. Whether he does in this one, I'm not too sure but we're gonna go ahead and um, first episode we're gonna put an offer in guys we're gonna offer two hundred thousand do we have two hundred thousand what do you guys think go on we'll offer two hundred thousand pound for him and it's a good chance we could get him for just two hundred grand then i'll tell you what up the top there the chief comments he thinks we should offer between one and 1.8 million to have a chance this deal but we'll offer that first if they come back and say no we'll maybe offer 800,000 because if we can get him for less than that that's pretty good he also says there that he looks like a future star so if we can pick a future star up for less than a million and then a season or two he's trebled or doubled in his value that's going to do me just fine we could even get him in and put him out on loan the main reason is guys We've got to definitely look for players. Hold on, we've had some transfers in for Mignolet and Sturridge. Now, neither of them two will be leaving the club. Neither of them. In, unless people offer me stupid amounts of money, they're not going. So straight away, I'm going to reject for Mignolet. Roma have come in. He's not going. And Wolfsburg have come in for Sturridge. Not happening. I'm not even going to counter, guys, because I don't want to get rid of these players. I've seen lots of people do career modes and they go, oh, they've offered 15, but we'll see if they'll do 30. And then they come back and say, yep, 30. Done. And then they lose the player and they're upset. And I just don't know why people just do not decline. If you don't want to sell the player, say no. We have a voice. The voice is to say our opinion. And I do not want to sell them. Look at that. Arsenal going in for Zeko. I mean, that happens every single FIFA. I'm telling you now, guys. We'll delete that. These are the last emails, guys. We've had another transfer offer for storage. And this time it's Dortmund. And they've come in and give us a massive sum of 25 million now he's valued at 15 so they've added on a good 10 million there but again guys it's not happening even for 25 million old and sell it. maybe 40 plus i'll look at selling them but until then not a chance we've also had someone here geordie wood and he is the subject's international management so he obviously is some sort of part of getting people jobs in international football He's congratulated me and wishes me the best at Liverpool. Happy days. Now, guys, I'm looking at the time here. And we're already at 18 minutes. So, I've got to be careful here because this is going to be a long episode. But I don't mind if the first episode's, you know, 25 minute, 30 minute. That's all right. It's not too bad. And Manchester City are looking at completing Oscar. Oh, sorry. Completed. He bought Oscar. Wow, well, that's, uh, that's different. Right. Wanyama. His report has come in. Victor Wanyama is 2.3. And only get 30,000 wage. That, that's pretty shocking. I can't believe these players are so cheap, guys. 
and Zuma year four. So what we'll do is, is we'll put some more bids in. We will offer Chelsea four million for Kurt Zuma and his weight. I think his wage was forty thousand, was it? And yeah, forty thousand. And for one Yammer, we will offer. So they always want to offer less of what they've been valued at, guys, because. If we can make a bit of money on them, if we look at selling them, well, that's all good round for everyone, really. So, for this one, we'll offer 2-1. Two, 2.1 one. 2 .1 million and see if he'll come and join us. Now, if we get Austin Alley, we can stick him on loan. If we get Wanyama, we can stick him on loan. If, you know, Southampton might want him back. Same for Zuma. These are going to be people, guys, that are going to come in in the next, maybe, two slash three seasons. So, for now, the season, this first season, the squad I've got is good. But I've got a feeling like Lambert... Gerard, they're going to look at retiring soon and we need to make sure we've got someone good and up to scratch with the Premier League to come in and play that role. They've rejected Austin Alley. We'll go ahead and stick a new offer in. We will offer 800,000, like I said, and maybe they'll uh, let them come for 800,000. Now, I'm hoping, guys, we're all... Oh, look at this. 20 minutes already, guys. Can't believe this. But I hope you are enjoying it. I know it hasn't been a game yet, but I'm going to get it in there, guys. Hopefully, I can chop this up a little bit. Look at that, Chelsea are looking to sign Falcao. Right, that's okay. We've had a scout out in front, that's fine. We've received offers for Torre and Gerard. Gerard is not leaving the club. Sorry, a one club man, and he's staying. Someone wants to buy Colo Torre, and he is not going to get in the team, guys. So what we're going to do is, he's valued at 2.9. We're going to go back to Leicester City and say, if you want him, you can have him, but he's going to cost you his value. We don't want to be losing money on players, guys. Come on, I really need to skip here. Right, they said it's too much. They're not willing to spend that much on Colo Torre. And I've offered again 2.6. And everyone has been rejected. And guys, what I'm going to have to do is, guys, I really do apologise for this. But hopefully if you're watching this episode, which is episode 1, within the next couple of hours or within the next, you know, maximum 12 hours, episode 2 is going to be out. And episode 2 is going to have a game in there, guys. I do apologise, but the time's just running up, and by the time I play the game, we're going to be looking at 40-odd minutes worth of gameplay, and it's just not what I need, guys, because I have to render that, edit it, and upload it, and it's going to cripple my internet speed. So, I know there hasn't been a game, guys. Don't worry, straight away, next uh, episode, we'll be jumping into a game. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy this episode, which I'm sure probably most of you haven't, so I'm going to be honest with you, there's no point in me saying you're going to have enjoyed it, because all it was was me talking you through what's going to happen, but... If you have, or you've, you know, you just love my series that I'm creating, please do it the thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. Thumbs up, comment down below, make sure you share the video, and episode two should be over in the next couple of hours, guys. So thanks for watching, and as usual, it's been your boy, brothers. Peace out.